Un draco sin vigilus, va de retro satana, nunca es suave y humana. Sub mala cuadriva, sin se venena vivas. ¿Qué tal testigos paranormales? Sean todos bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube. Antes de ir con esta información, quiero invitarles a que por favor puedan compartir este video en sus redes sociales. Suscríbanse a mi canal de YouTube. Y desde luego ya está habilitado el botón del super chat para que con su donativo puedan echarme una manita que este canal siga creciendo, traer mejores investigaciones, mejores entrevistas, mejorar, como ustedes han visto, la calidad del audio, la calidad del video la calidad de la iluminación y con ello ustedes puedan disfrutar de una agradable y terrorífica experiencia. En esta ocasión, eh, primero que nada, quiero invitarles también a que por favor me puedan seguir a través de las diferentes redes sociales que ustedes ya conocen y vamos a conocer el día de hoy a un gran personaje dentro del sendero de la mano izquierda. Estamos hablando del de señor Thomas Carlson, pero... ¿Quién es Thomas Carlson para, que, para quienes aquellos que no lo conocen? Bueno, pues él es un destacado ocultista sueco y autor de libros acerca de diversas corrientes esotéricas. Es también un académico con maestría en Historia de las Ideas y tiene un doctorado en Historia de la Religión por la Universidad de Estocolmo. Thomas Carlson fue miembro fundador y cabeza de la Orden Mágica conocida como la Dragon Rouge, y como escritor esotérico, sus libros exploran temas como la cábala, la magia goética y la runología desde una perspectiva del sendero de la mano izquierda. Thomas Carson está asociado también con eh, diferentes grupos musicales, específicamente con el grupo Therion, habiendo escrito la mayoría de las letras para sus canciones, escúchenlo bien, desde el año 1996. Así que... Una entrevista muy interesante, que una plática sobre todo, más que una entrevista, una plática muy amena que tuve la oportunidad de tener con el señor Thomas Carlson en el primer congreso internacional del sendero de la mano izquierda que se realizó en la Ciudad de México el pasado mes de enero del 2023 y que gracias al maestro Amducias, sumo sacerdote de la Orden Satanista de México, es que logramos tener todas las facilidades para traer a todos ustedes esta y otras entrevistas que ustedes han podido disfrutar aquí en mi canal de YouTube. Vamos entonces, sin más preámbulo, a la entrevista y plática amena con el señor Thomas Carlson. Y no se olviden, por favor, compartir este video a través de sus redes sociales. Pues, eh, amigos de Testigo Paranormal, me encuentro con un gran personaje dentro de lo que es el sendero de la mano izquierda, dentro de lo que es la magia draconiana. Estamos hablando del señor Thomas Carlson. Thomas, thank you very much for accept this uh, interview with Testigo Paranormal. I'm very happy to do this interview and that you asked me to uh, be a part of this. Uh, and uh, yes, I think this interview will be interesting. Gracias. Eh, eh, Thomas, eh, ¿por qué eliges México para, para poder aperturar esta, esta, esta filosofía de, de, del sendero draconiano. Why are you choosing Mexico to start from the Rouge here as well? Uh, Dragon Rouge was formed in uh, Sweden uh, and it's a lot of reason why it was uh, formed there. But from a religious perspective, it's quite interesting that the current, like Dragon Rouge, coming from the upper north in Europe, which in the most secular country in the world, so it's like there the dark forces are like always present. And for some reason, it seems like they chosen me to be a spokesman for some of the messages they want us to, to uh, get now when we are about to get through a paradigm shift, when we are about to, with technology and 
we must add also with spirituality we are uh, coming into the fifth dimension and with the fifth dimensional awareness time and space start to, to change um, and this is something that's going on in all of the world and uh, it has been especially fruitful in latin america and uh, so i think now it 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 feels very natural to come here and i feel that quetzalcoatl's presence everywhere uh, here make me feel very at home i feel like wow this is uh, the dragon is my life project and here the feathered serpent quetzalcoatl uh, is so present and uh, and is here now because I believe the Mayan calendar was right that 2012 was uh, when Quetzalcoatl came back or the Red Dragon uh, came back but people believed something spectacular but it's going very low and calm in 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 dimensions and and the parts of our existence that we don't see but it happens and even the modern technology is part of this that we now use skype that's swedish by the way uh, uh, or zoom or google meet and so on it is a way to pass the the the, the, the fourth dimensions um, uh, frame because we can meet and feel that we are really good friends even if we never met in real life but then of course it's wonderful to come here to Mexico to meet people that I have been friends with on you know digital uh, to meet them in real life but I work in Dragrosh and with my students with meditations where we try to enter this fifth dimensional awareness uh, even without technology. So we, we pass time and space and go beyond time and space and go into like a cube or, 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 a, war, or a globe or something uh, like a room beyond the ordinary four dimensions and the Newtonian physics because after the fifth dimension or with the fifth dimension the Newtonian physics that rules the material world don't work any longer because up there it's other laws and the quantum physics are of course now discovering this but this is something that the dark uh, societies have known since thousands of years. Um, Thomas, ¿tú consideras que todo este conocimiento, el estar, tú sabes que no existen casualidades, hay causalidades, no, no estamos aquí como por coincidencia. ¿Consideras que este conocimiento que traes, que quieres eh, seguir trabajando a modo personal y compartir con los demás y el tema de las composiciones para Therion tiene algo que ver con alguna existencia pasada tuya? Um, there's there are no uh, casualties, there's casualty. And uh, uh, he's asking if you uh, what are exactly are you doing here and if uh, writing for uh, Therion has something for you about uh, any past lives or something? No, writing lyrics for theorem has nothing to do with past lives, but uh, it was like the dragon brought us together uh, because theorem was a medium big uh, Swedish metal band, but when I came into the picture, it was very considered cool with an occult aura among the metal bands. But then people, when I came in and started to write the lyrics, people realized that, damn, this is occultism for real. This is dark occultism. 
and incantations in the songs mm -hmm. that are genuine and authentic. And then, of course, also uh, 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 Theron's uh, selling started skyrocket with Wovin, that was the first band, uh, first album mm -hmm. where I wrote all the lyrics. Thomas, ¿qué viene para México en cuestión del de sendero de la mano izquierda, en cuestión de la magia draconiana? Uh, what's coming up for Mexico regarding uh, draconian magic? First, we are very proud that we opened up now a draconian working group in Mexico, okay. and it will be the first, no, pardon, the second, because we have one in Brazil. But we have now a very long process to be accepted as a working group. So we don't have these with lodges that are quite free. We are more in that way, uh, like we want uh, that everything is a unit where we work together. Uh, but but it's, we are very glad that we have now a very professional uh, leader for the Draconian Working Group in Mexico, and we will soon see more open. In the United States, it will open very soon, in Germany, very soon, and we will see it spread around the world. O sea, como la apertura de nuevos grupos de trabajo. Sí, sí, está, está, está mencionando que eh, México es la segunda uh, logia que se abre en wow. América, la primera fue Brasil. Y que el único no están abriendo logias nada más porque sí, sino que es parte de un largo proceso de ser aceptados. Y a carne escultura es precisamente para a, a abrir otra logia en Estados Unidos. En Colombia. When, where, en Colombia. As soon as at least five people that are highly dedicated to Dragon Rouge work and the Draconian tradition, when they fulfill our requirements for opening a ritual working group, then we would be happy to have one in Colombia, because Colombia is a marvelous country. So, uh, so I hope in the near future we will have a ritual working group in Colombia. But it is not, I can't do it, because sometimes people say, but come to, to this country or this country where I live. But that's not so easy because I can't uh, spend the money just to go to every part of the world. It needs that the people gather this and organize this themselves. But then I'm very happy to, to go there. Uh, as long as it's well organized and, and professional, and so we see. I think Colombia. It, it it's very likely that uh, it, we will have a, a working group there because it's a land, the nation with a very strong left hand path undercurrent uh, and subculture. Okay, probably yes, in a future distant. Correcto, cinco, cinco personas eh, eh, se organicen, se organicen trabajando, y ellos, estudiando. Y, y ellos vean que realmente tienen el profesionalismo y, y demás, él puede ir. No problema, no problema. Él puede, él puede ir. <risa> es para la sed, amigos, es para la sed, ¿verdad, Tomás? Sí, sí, sí. Ya. Get your mouth dry. No pasa nada, es para la sed. <risa> pues, eh, Tomás, thank you very much. Again, for uh, accept this interview with the Sigo Paranormal, I wish in the future make uh, work something with uh, with you. I am Colombia, you are another country, but uh, uh, you are welcome every, every time in my YouTube channel. I'm very happy for that, and let's stay in touch. And uh, thanks for offering uh, the possibility of making this interview for your channel. And I wish, not least, all the listeners and viewers in Colombia, gather, organize, be part of building the future. Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs>